Hey family, on November 20th through December 1st, 2022, we will have the all-inclusive Kenya trip. Now, a lot of times people have said, hey, Phil, when's the next trip we will like to go? I want to see Africa for myself, but this is the time to go. Everything will be taken care of. All the excursions are paid. You can do monthly payments. You know, they'll have a safari and a six city tour. You will see Charlie Island, which is something that we did not see last time on the tour. This tour will be 12 days instead of seven days. So make sure to secure your place on the trip by going to www.wbsvs.com, make your deposit, and then you can start making your payments and we'll see you in Kenya. So a black California family is on track to reclaim their beachfront property that was stolen from them by the government with racist motivations. Now descendants of Charles and Willa Bruce are breathing a sigh of relief after a recent court ruling helped save their land that rightfully belongs to them from slipping out of their hands. So last October when governor Gavin Newsom signed Senate bill 796 into law, it cleared the way for the state to return stolen land to descendants of Charles and Willa Bruce. At the time, the family thought they were on the verge of taking back their land until Palos Verdes estates attorney, Joseph Ryan filed a lawsuit trying to block the land transfer just a few weeks after the legislation was signed. Now they said that we knew there was going to be folks who didn't want to see the Bruce's get this property back. And Mr. Ryan proved this right. Now that's a George uh, fathery attorney representing the Bruce family at his land reclamation fight. So it says Shepherd feels the lawsuit uh, filed. It said by Ryan was racially motivated. You think you, you really think everything these people do is racially motivated, <laughs> you know, until they prove otherwise. Now, say Father Reed highlighted a portion of the Judge Mitchell uh, Beckloff's it's a comments on the case by saying, writing a government wrong perpetuated in breach of our core and fundamental constitutional principles, work to strengthen government integrity, represents accountability in government, and works to eliminate structural racism and bias. Say the government's act of rectifying a prior egregious wrong based on racism fosters trust and respect in government, which I would agree with the judge on that. If you want black people to have faith in the government and faith in the system, make it right. Pay reparations, return land back to people uh, that they were, were stolen from, whether from eminent domain or white supremacist terrorism. Then people say, okay, well, the government is actually trying to do the right thing now, right? But as long as you are continuing this white supremacy, black people are not going to have no faith in no system for what? Because what we're seeing is that the system is anti-black. So they say, so Charles and Willa Bruce, as they brought their beachfront property in 1912 for a little more than $1,200. It said the couple, as they built a business, they say on their beachfront property, which served as a place of refuge for black Americans seeking beach access without fear of racism and harassment. But the Ku Klux Klan and other races at the time routinely terrorized black patrons and the Bruce family. It says, Shepard uh, says the city of Manhattan Beach seized it said the Bruce property in 1924. It said through eminent domain claiming they would turn it into a park. And despite years of fighting to keep their land, by 1929, the Bruce family was only received $14,000 and said for their property. Once it was taken, it said a couple died just a few years later. Now Shepard is grateful Senate Bill 796 was signed into law. He says without it, the family could have lost their 100 year fight as they reclaimed the land amid they say attorney Ryan's lawsuit. Now they say with the latest hurdle across the Bruce family hopes they can focus their attention on what to do with the land. They say the plan is to, uh, for the land is to allow the County to keep their lifeguard training stations there for at least 30 years and pay us a fair market value rent and say, although the Bruce family has plans and to move forward, they hope Los Angeles County moves quickly and say with the land transfer before someone else upset the wrongs of a racist past are being corrected presents another roadblock. They say, we are nervous. Is that someone else may pick up and file a lawsuit? So there's a lot going on. So there's good reason for us to want this expedited. And say Shepard uh, said nervously about any future lawsuit possibly preventing the Bruce family from land ownership. Now Shepard says the direct descendants with rights to the land are the grandsons of Charles and Willa Bruce. And one of the grandson's sons, make up the four direct living heirs. And yeah, you get that property back, you turn that definitely, uh, flip that. 
you know, in the good beachfront property. You know what I'm saying? Because beachfront property is very valuable no matter what country you're in. And at one point in this country, black people can be on the beach with white folk. That's, that is the truth. So, so see, this is the thing. You talk about our ancestors, right? Our ancestors didn't beg these people. You know what I'm saying? The Bruce's said, you know what? Let's go ahead and buy this land over here, this beachfront property, so our people can enjoy getting out in the sun, getting on the beach, doing their thing. You understand? But the, the greatest mistake our ancestors made was integration. I think that was the greatest mistake. I think the thing that they should have fought for was, you know, equal access to resources. And that would have been better for sure, because we would have kept building up our stuff the way we built it. But the moment you did integration, it was actually a wealth transfer to the Mazungus because black folks mentality and slave mentality, well, they believe the white man's ice is always colder. So that's what destroyed a lot of the black businesses. So integration actually benefited the Mzungu, not really black people like that, right? So if you want to talk about your ancestors, your ancestors like the Bruce's, they said that let's build up our own stuff. Stop begging to go to theirs. You know, you want to go to spring break in Florida, you know what I'm saying? But you couldn't go to that at one point in time. Should they run you up or out of there? It'd be a problem. People forget the history of this country. They don't want to hear about it. You know, the, the right wingers say critical race theory. It's not critical race theory. It's American history. That's what happened. And what they showed us in California, you know, and shout out to sister Camila Moore, that you have to do it based on not race. You have to do it based on lineage, which that's a lineage based claim that they had. And, you find out certain things happen to your family, you can start filing lawsuits about that because it's not based on race. You start saying race, then that's how they easily throw it out. This is why the white supremacists are upset the way they do on the California Reparations Commission because if they pass it and it's just based on being black, then they can easily get it thrown out. This is why geniuses, they couldn't just make it off of all black people. But, let me know in the comments what you think about this, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I'm, I'm happy for this family because they deserve the land that their, you know, ancestors had bought. They deserve that. And, and I hope they make millions upon millions of dollars, you know, with this land. Thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out the African Diaspora News Channel app in the Google Play and Apple App Store.